Hi folks and welcome to this video about how to cure peripheral neuropathy. You're going to have to be open to the idea that your doctors might be wrong because they most likely are and I'm going to prove it to you today. Peripheral neuropathy is highly curable once you understand what's really causing it and then you know what to do about it. And that's exactly what we're going to go over today. So let's dive right in. Hi folks, I'm John Thornton with a pain care clinic where we teach people the truth about chronic conditions like neuropathy. I'll explain how it's not what you think it is and how to stop it. In fact, we have a free workshop about how to cure chronic illnesses like neuropathy at paincureclinic.us. Check it out. There is a link below. Okay, so here's what the Esteem Mayo Clinic has to say about it. Peripheral neuropathy, a result of damage to the nerves located outside of the brain and spinal cord, peripheral nerves, often causes weakness, numbness, tingling, and pain, usually in the hands, legs, and feet. Now, according to John Hopkins University, causes of neuropathy include diabetes, alcoholism, physical injuries, and emotional imbalance, among other things. They go on to recommend treatment that includes antidepressants, hypnosis, pain medications, acupuncture, and anti-seizure medications. Now, I'm not a doctor, but I've got to tell you that I'm not really buying it. Not one bit. I actually don't think Mayo or John Hopkins have any idea what they're talking about. I mean, causes for one medical condition can be either alcoholism, physical injury, or emotional imbalance. Really? Does that make any sense at all? And treatment for tingling feet can include antidepressants and hypnotism? That makes absolutely no sense either. It makes me wonder, are these people doctors or witch doctors? And I tried looking up how diabetes causes neuropathy, and the answer is they don't know. They have no idea. Folks, I'm sorry, but it looks like they're just making it up as they go along. And unfortunately, you're paying the price. But hopefully, not any longer. Peripheral neuropathy is an illness that's actually caused by negative emotions like stress. That's right, emotional stress. It was originally described by Dr. John Sarno, who was a professor of medicine at New York University Hospital, and he sold millions of books and cured thousands of people based on his diagnosis of tension myositis syndrome, or TMS. Let me explain how stress causes peripheral neuropathy. Now, I'm sure everybody has heard of the fight or flight response by now. Well, it's actually pretty simple. One of the main physiological changes that happens during fight or flight is that the body, including muscles, tendons, and nerves, just tightens up. It tightens up in order to prepare to either fight or flee. And over time, that leads to oxygen deprivation as well as pain and numbness and tingling and weakness. In other words, TMS creates peripheral neuropathy. In fact, in the book, Divided Mind, Dr. Sarno lumps all symptoms together because he felt that they were all exactly the same thing. The principle behind getting better is to understand what TMS is all about and to acknowledge that TMS and nothing else is the cause of your pain or numbness or tingling or weakness regardless of where you are feeling these things. You will speed up the healing process if you forget everything that you were told in the past, including the diagnosis, as well as what you are supposed to do or not do. Your body is normal. Your symptoms are all due to mild oxygen deprivation, which is harmless, but can cause very severe symptoms. Where you have these symptoms is also not important. So too much stress leads to too much fight or flight, and too much fight or flight tightens up the body, causing mild oxygen deprivation, and that leads to numbness, tingling, and weakness. In other words, neuropathy. 
So that's how peripheral neuropathy is created. But once the stress is resolved, the body will revert back to normal with no permanent nerve damage. In fact, Dr. Sarno also talks about it in The Divided Mind. The fact that patients recover rapidly when they are appropriately treated for TMS suggests that the nerve tissue involved is not in any way damaged, but only rendered temporarily dysfunctional. So you'll have to decide who you believe. Personally, after years of failed traditional medicine, I switched to Dr. Sarno and I cured myself in three months. And you can too. So check out that workshop that I talked about via the link below. And don't forget to smack that button before you go. And thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.